I'm back. Hi everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. It has been so long since I posted a video last. Um, probably a little over a year. Um, March 2020 will be my two year lock anniversary, And I mean, I posted a couple videos. Honestly, I created videos with the intention that I was going to be committed and I fell off. I'll admit that. And will I get back into a routine of creating videos? Probably not, let's be honest. Um, but if you're still interested in following my journey, I encourage you to follow my Instagram. It is at Fritzmean. And yeah, well, I'm here after 68,000 views on my last video and so many of you guys reaching out to me to thank me for making that video and to also ask for updates and ask about my like journey thus far. Um, I decided to finally sit down here and make a video for you guys and yeah if you are interested in a probably long video with me probably taking a little bit to get to the point then stay tuned if not you see your way out but anyways welcome back so i wanted to just i guess talk to you first about my sister locks so this is my hair now as you can see I love having locks. Uh, this journey has been quite an interesting one with a lot of highs but also a lot of lows. Um, I love having locks. Do I love having sister locks? Mm, we'll get to that a little later on. But um, I will say to people who always ask me about my sister locks and if I regret the decision, it's a uh, no. I don't regret getting locks. Um, my life before locks as a loose natural was so dedicated to my hair that I hated it. Like the fact that months before a vacation, I would have to think, what am I doing with my hair? Am I getting like a crochet weave or am I braiding it? What am I doing? I hated those thoughts. I also hated like wash day, you gotta plan it in advance and sort of think of a game plan and I'm like why do I have game plans for what I'm gonna do with my hair and a wash day would literally take a day and I wasn't about that life anymore and so that's why it was important for me to get locks to sort of have more of my life for me and not dedicated to my hair and it has been great so far. I went on vacation in August and it was wonderful just not having to worry about my hair and to be able to go swimming. Just the freedom that comes with having locks is, it's incredible. I love how my getting ready routine is so short. I love how the locks just are still small so I could do a lot of different styles with them. Um, I mean, I don't really, I don't do styles that much anymore but if I wanted to I could and that's what's important right um, I could do a braid out I could put it in different updos and I love that about having sister locks now my dislikes my dislikes are that my locks are really small I don't know if you've noticed but I got a big head and if you look at my previous videos, I've got a lot of hair. It's really thick. And so when I got sister locks, in the beginning, I would nitpick the crap out of the sides of my locks. I would be like, oh, are they too small? Are they, no, are they too big? I was worried that my locks were too big. And I would think about that all the time. I would just stay in the mirror after my locks were repaired and I would be like, are they too big? They could be a little smaller. I wish my original person did them smaller. And now I'm like, they're way too small. Um, they're way too small. And just, just my personal opinion, um, I would rather them a little thicker. But 
My like, my dislike about having sister locks, um, since I started the journey, my biggest issue is that I'm no longer independent. I feel like with sister locks, I no longer have control over my hair, which is honestly one of the most frustrating things to me because I spent my entire life growing up at a salon. Um, when I had my hair relaxed, you know, I got my hair relaxed when I was about five years old and decided to go natural when I was about 22 years old. So imagine my mom took me to the hair salon religiously every two weeks to get my hair done. I didn't get my hair done at home. I always went to the salon to get it done. And I just remember sitting in the salon chair for hours on a Saturday you know, washing, blow drying, and the salon is packed with, you know, women, and they're all waiting to get their hair done, and what should have been, like, a much quicker process took, like, five, maybe six hours, and it was ridiculous to me, and so that was one of the main reasons why I went natural in the beginning, was to have control over my own hair, and so I feel like since having sister locks, I've lost that control significantly. Um... I tried retightening on my own and that didn't go too well. I ended up combining some locks or I would just take forever to retighten. I would just section my hair off and it would legit take me about a week to retighten and I was just doing all the wrong things. And so I had to stop doing that real fast. But also because the reason why it was just so hard for me to retighten my hair, because the locks are just small. So that's why. Um, another thing is, is that I don't know about your area, but I am located in Massachusetts. And the, I have had the most interesting experience with sister lock consultants and trainees. I have found them to be either extra extra busy um which is great for them because they've got a lot of clientele that means they're busy um they're popular and they're really well liked they have a lot of loyal clients and then the other half are just really unreliable and so it's been really hard to find a consultant that um has is able to see me during the times that I need to be seen, if that makes any sense. I think I've contacted probably everybody on the trainee list and everyone was kind of just, I don't do sister locks anymore. And I'm like, oh, damn it. So finding a consultant that is consistent has been a really interesting experience. And I would like to say that I think that there should be a like a Facebook group where people can find consultants can somebody work on that can someone please create that like where can I leave a consultant a review and I find that in 2019 nobody has an Instagram it's 2019 how do you not have a social media account to me that's really important in getting your work out there being able to read reviews from a client perspective, being able to read reviews, see your work, and also um, get maybe a sense of your personality. And so one of the only consultants that I have found that has been consistent with posting and also, you know, I've gone to her several times is Lee Janae. She's located in Quincy. I had such a great experience with her each time I went. Not only is she reliable, but she also answers her phone, has an Instagram, and also is concerned about the client experience when you see her, which I think is fantastic. To me, that is all really important, and it may not be to you, whatever, but to me, it's super important. So I will leave her information down below for you to check her out, but honestly, like I have seen way too many videos of people having issues with their sister locks and with consultants and where are we leaving reviews to hold people accountable? It should be done.
that is why I've decided to combine my sister locks. I feel like I would love my control back as far as, you know, um, doing my hair. And located in Boston, um, to get a retightening done, it's usually between 130 and 150 a month. I like to go every four to five weeks. And to me, I feel like it's not sustainable long-term forever. And so I would like to be able to control my hair. If I see something out of place, you know, do it myself. And I just feel like it's a lot harder to do because my locks are so small, I can't see back there, my hair is so dense. I honestly don't know how people do their own retightening. I, if I could go back, honestly, I would have probably gotten interlocks or micro locks. I don't know, something that is a little bigger than the sister locks that I have now. But other than that, um, the size and the consultant issue, I will say having locks has been such a wonderful experience and I recommend it to any and everybody. So that is my update. Again, I will leave my consultant's information down below for you guys. Um, also, if you're interested in seeing more of my hair growth journey, then I encourage you to follow me on Instagram. It is at Fritzmean. I'll leave that link down below as well. Um, you are able to see my photography work as well as my hair. Thank you so much for watching and bye.